Hey guys, we're here at the Shift Place, and today I'll be opening this Build Your Own Volcano Kit. Let's turn it. So on the front, it it says I can get this volcanic specimen. I think it's called a pumice. I don't know. Here's the picture of a volcano, and it says Build Your Own Build Volcano. Oh my God! Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Come on, buddy. What are you waiting for? Come on. Come on, buddy. 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 This is obviously Volcano. It is Constrior Volte Pro Pre. Okay, yeah, I can't pronounce it properly. So on the side, it says one side, it says these things it includes in Spanish. On the other, it says English. I think we better stick to that. So it says it has one bag of plaster, one bag of eruption powder, one volcano mold, one stir stick, one paintbrush, three colors of paint, um, two volcanic specimens. Oh, that's the pumice and the geode. And then one learning guide with instructions. So these are all it includes to make the volcano. Okay. Now let's open it. Good thing. I always, I always have a pair of scissors on me. Scissors. Hey, I'm mucking. Hey, I'm mucking around. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Man, this is actually not easy to cut. Mm -hmm. Look at the other videos. Eh. Okay, we opened it. Oh my god. We have this. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys, guys. So we have this. Yeah, whatever this is. These, these are the volcano molds. We have to connect them together, though. I run that. Wow. Then we have this. I think this is a eruption powder. Oh, my God. No. This oh. is eruption powder. And here's the popsicle stick. And then the popsicle stick. I get that. Oh, look. It's, it's a, one pumice and a nut in a geo. Those are the specimens. And then there's the paint stuff. I think it's food coloring. Paintbrush and instructions. So, guys, so that's everything the kit includes. So, might as well get started. Why are you turning on the peacock feather? Okay, so here's all the things includes. Wow, I can tell from here already, it is not going to be easy. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So first on the instructions, what is a volcano? I'm looking for the instructions. I think those are the instructions. Thank you. So I think these, yeah, that's the guy. This is the learning guide. This is the instruction. Oh. So first we have to take these on the instructions. As you can see, it says I have to put these volcano skins, look like these are template volcano molds around it like this. I actually have no idea what the instruction is doing. It looks weird, but they're instructions. Okay, so now we have to connect these little dots. And then we need pour an entire content of volcano plaster. Is this plaster? What is it? I don't know which one is plaster, which one is eruption powder. Oh, this is eruption powder. This is the plaster. So, we have to keep that plaster in a large container like this and add one cup of 250 milliliters of water into another disposable container. Holy, how the heck are we going to do this? And then we have to mix it, pour it in, paint it. Guys, so now as you can see, we have our water here in this cup, and here as you can see, it's empty. That is where we're gonna pour the plaster. So I'll just get this open. 
Let's get halfway. Boom. Okay, guys. As you can see, we have kept some tape here to keep the mold intact. Because when we without the tape, it will just fall apart. So now, as you can see, I have a cup of water here, and this is empty because it's for the plaster. As you can see, I have cut it half open already. Pour some in. Okay, this is enough. This much? This much. Yeah, this should be good. Eh, he's definitely not poop. Okay, so we have this much plaster. Wow, it's fluffy. So now we pour it. Okay, that should be enough. Now start mixing. Okay, let's start to stir. Stir? What is he doing? Should we just take, take him home? Okay. Wow. Okay, we're going to some more. Maybe a little bit more water. A little more plaster. Mm. I have to fill up to the brim. I want my volcano to be big. So I'm going to pour a lot. Okay, I've been stirring for one minute now. I think one minute's up. Count this is 60. So now I'm pretty sure it's here. Okay, I have no idea. I'm gonna do it here. Now I am so scared. You will If you try this at home, make sure to have a newspaper under because it's gonna get really messy once you pour the plaster into the volcano. Yeah, we made, make sure to have a newspaper. We made a kind of mistake because you know. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys do this, please sure make sure to have a newspaper. Okay, so now I will make another video when I unmold this volcano and I paint it and I make it erupt with that eruption powder. Alright, so now let this dry to one to two days, then keep it in the oven for one to two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. At least that's what the instructions say. So anyway guys, let's let it dry and I'll make another video about, you know what about. Okay guys, so now it has been one day and now I will unmold the volcano. Let's get it. I have a little spud here. There it is. Let's look at the top. So now first I will move the tape. Oh yeah, that thing's... Okay, move this. What up, I... What are you up to? Doing serious stuff. Okay, ready guys? But first, I will be doing this way. That's where we're gonna make it erupt. So as you can see here, it looks like lava swim. Here, a big mess. But as you can see, it has like, all th those um, really good designs on it. Like the lava flowing. Yeah, lava flowing here too. And then this big opening here where, you, where we're gonna I'm gonna put the eruption powder and make it explode. First, guys, I need to paint it. So, I'm gonna go get the paint set. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna paint it. I have the paint kit. I did see I'm not using the other one that's the cocaine kit. I'm using that. So first, I'm going to do the extra lava. Lava. Do 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 do. That's been a little bit yellowish and orangish. I mean, I should have brought a cup of water. So now I have my cup of water. This way comes away. I'm gonna open the yellow. Okay. And oh. spike stop running away. Okay, and brush. First. Um, I'm gonna take some yellow. Spike, cooperate. I'm not good at painting, so do not touch me. Stop doing that wire spike. And now I'm gonna put on. Because these are the mainly three things that lava has. Right up here. Okay, this one's new. Eating, buddy? Okay, so I'm, I'm completely done painting now. He's a good look at the whole entire volcano. And I'm gonna be making another video on how this is going to erupt, guys. Okay, guys, so now I am completely done painting. So as you can see, there's some white spots, but now I have to leave it to dry for one to two days. Then I will show you guys the volcano eruption experiment. I have the same question as you guys. How was, will this erupt? And we will be breaking that geode they gave me in that box. See what color it is. Is it white? Is it those African geodes? Is it green? Is it blue? But I don't know. Well, looks like we'll find out when to break it. Okay guys, so now this volcano has been drying for one to two days. And now, now it's been drying, as you can see, we have our greens and now we're gonna make it a lot. So the instructions say I have some vinegar. Well, it's apple cider vinegar, but you could but you could use vinegar if you want. We're just using apple cider because for those of you who want to try this and only have apple cider vinegar, we're gonna see if it actually works for it. And then we have a very small spoon of a dish soap. And then we have the eruption powder that comes with it. So now we're gonna make this volcano explode. So first, let's uh, cut, cut this open. Okay, so first the you know, instructions say pour the pour the eruption powder first. One tablespoon is enough. Okay, yeah. Then pour the then pour the dish soap. So it's very it look, may look like very little, but it'll explode into a lot. Now, I'm not going to be pouring a lot of apple cider vinegar, I'm just going to pour a little bit. And once I pour this, it's going to um, erupt. So. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour my apple cider vinegar. Whoa! It's more foamy. Yeah, it's like foam. It's like that elephant toothpaste video. Make sure to watch that video, guys. Looks exactly like it. 
And now I'm just gonna pour a little more so if I get that brush. Oh god. Oh my god. Lava. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. It's more filling, lava. It's filling up the whole bowl. Much better. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pour all of this. Oh, there's like so much fun. What so the much fun. hell? It filled up the whole bowl. That's because you put like so much. Oh my god, man. It's oh still going. God. It's still going. It's okay. still going. It's full of It's not half. It was pretty. The version was pretty slow at first, but then with the, with the aftermath, it was incredible. It's totally full. Oh my god. I'm going to try and catch it. That's so foamy. Feels so good. Okay. Okay, guys. So you know this eruption powder is just nothing but sodium bicarbonate. That's what the instructions said. This eruption powder did that cause this. And these two came with these two specimens, volcano specimens, came with the box. This is actually a dried up piece of lava, and this is just an original geo. Because this is, in case you didn't know, this is actually very light. Like I could just break it at any moment. This geode, I have to crack it open to see what's inside. Which I will do later, maybe in the video. Um, okay. Um, the bubbling lava is a result of chemical reaction between the acetic acid and vinegar or the critic acid and lemon or lime juice and sodium bicarbonate in your eruption powder. In this reaction, carbon dioxide gas is created. It builds up the pressure in the lava chamber until it bubbles out of the top of the volcano. That's how this works. Very, a, com very, a very complex presentation. Yeah, I know. Okay guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very cool volcano science experiment. Please subscribe and like this video. And like this video and share it with everyone you know and make sure to hit that notifications bell and you'll not get notified whenever we upload a new video and anyway uh yeah what he said bye